What's going on guys, it's Patrick here. Welcome back to Top 10 Trends. And today guys, we are going to be looking at 10 animals that you will not believe actually exist. So over the past few months, we've been going over animals you're glad don't exist, Pokemon you're glad don't exist, but I thought what we would do today guys is go over some animals that actually do exist. Now as always guys, the giveaway for our silver play button is still going on, so if you want to be entered in for the chance to win that, all you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel and then comment down below what your favorite animal on this list was. Anyways though guys, let's get it. Coming in at our number 10 spot guys, we have the Narwhal. So this is something that I've seen over and over again in pictures and, and memes and stories, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit that I didn't know these things actually exist. So what is a narwhal, you may be asking? Well, maybe not, but some of you are probably like, yo, what the heck is this thing? Well, it's basically just, just a whale, whatever, but it's got a giant horn. Like, not even a horn, it's got a giant spear on the top of its head. Now, narwhals live in the Arctic Ocean around Greenland, Canada, and Russia, and they can be between four and six meters big. As well, their tusks, or should I say giant spikes, can be up to three meters or 10 feet long. So basically what a narwhal is, is it's like a whale that was crossed with a unicorn. That is literally like what the spike on this thing's head looks like. I was just so surprised to realize these things actually exist because like Loki, they look a little bit ridiculous and more importantly than that, they almost just look like a fantasy animal that would be in some cartoon show or something. Moving down to the number nine spot on our list, guys, we have the lion's mane jellyfish. Now the lion's mane jellyfish is like any other normal jellyfish, except for the fact that it is immense. So this jellyfish lives in the Arctic, North Atlantic, and Northern Pacific Ocean, which is basically everywhere's north. But what makes it so amazing is it is the largest known species of jellyfish in the world. The longest ever recorded was 2.3 meters or seven feet big. Okay. Whatever. Here's where it gets stupid. The tentacles were measured at 37 meters long, or 120 feet. Now what's so interesting about these jellyfish is like all jellyfish, the tentacles will sting you. And interestingly enough, they are not deadly and have not been known to kill people. However, due to just the sheer volume of stingers that these things have, it is recommended that you seek medical attention if you are to be stung by one. Number eight, the Irrawaddy dolphin. So I'm sure we've all seen dolphins before. We've all seen whales, maybe even narwhals now. But have you ever seen an Irrawaddy dolphin? I think of this entire list, this is my personal favorite, just because it's so freaking cute. It's like a dolphin, but just completely derpy looking. And, and, and honestly, this, this thing should be a meme. Dolphins are extremely intelligent and very, very interesting animals. But you look at this guy, he kind of looks like the dolphin's dumber cousin. That being said, look how happy my man looks. He's just, he's just swimming around like he's got this huge, like kind of derpy looking smile on his face, dude. I freaking love this thing. Now these things are only found in the Bay of Bengal, which is in Southeast Asia. Anyways, the obvious reason they are on this list is just because they're so cool looking and they are our number eight spot. Coming in at number seven, we have an animal that you guys have probably seen on the internet before, but is another one of those things that I had no idea actually existed. The blobfish. So the blobfish is a really just kind of gross, weird looking fish that lives in the deep waters off the coast of mainland Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. According to Wikipedia, the flesh of the blobfish is primarily a gelatinous mass with a density slightly less than water. This allows the fish to float above the seafloor without expending energy or swimming. Its relative lack of muscle is not a disadvantage though, as it primarily swallows edible matter that floats in front of it. So basically, this is just like a floating blob that, that eats whatever happens to pass in front of its face. I mean, this, this guy looks absolutely pathetic, but could you imagine if this thing were to just like wash up on sea? Dude, you, you would think that this is like a demon. Number six. The Leopon. It's actually a cross of a leopard and a lion. The Leopon is in fact a hybrid, resulting in the crossing of a male leopard 
with a female lion. Now, first and foremost, I find it very interesting that different breeds of cats are actually able to mate. But for some reason, I just find it hard to wrap my head around the fact that you can take two different cats, like a lion and a leopard, and they will make a new cat. And specifically, the leopon. So this is a very uncommon type of animal hybrid as the only way that this can actually happen is if they were forcefully bred in captivity. I find this thing to be super interesting just because it looks like a lion, yet it has the spots of a leopard. Number five, the goblin shark. Now when I mentioned the blobfish, you may have recalled me saying demon. You would think that this is like a demon. And I think we actually might need a new example for a demon because the goblin shark is a demon. So this is another deep sea animal which is very uncommon to actually see and it is sometimes referred to as a living fossil. Its lineage dates back all the way to 125 million years ago. It's got this like super elongated sort of flattened nose or snout and the jaws Dude, look at those jaws, okay? Not to mention its ridiculous nail-like teeth. So this thing is going on the list sheerly for its absolute scary image. These things can grow up to 4 meters or roughly 12 feet long. So to all you people out there that are scared of normal sharks, like your great white whatever, you need to get your phobias in line here because the goblin shark is some next level terrifying animal. All right, moving away from the terrifying animals, guys. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the panda ant. Aw, look at this little guy. He's like a, he's like white and black and all cool colors and fun fact, he's, he's not actually an ant. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know where the name comes from, but let's be honest. I mean, this, this thing does look like an ant. It's actually a wasp. Dude, what? This is, this is like so disappointing. It's like this, it's a, it's a bug that is actually cute, right? And I'm like, okay, faith in, in the animal kingdom is a little bit restored in, in as far as like the creepy things go. But no, it's a wasp. Wasps are literally one of the worst insects ever. And this guy, he's disguising himself as this cute little, little bug. But no, he is not a bro. He is a terrifying bug. He is a wasp and he comes in at number four. Number three, the liger. So if any of you out there are like me, you are probably thinking that the Liger only exists in the movie Napoleon Dynamite. Now much like the Leopon, the Liger is a crossbreed of two different animals. It's a cross between a male lion and a female hyga. Okay, Pat, so what's the big deal? I mean, you know, it just looks like a, looks like a normal cat. Well, the thing that is so mind-blowing about this animal is they grow bigger and tend to be stronger than both of their parent counterparts. You see what I'm saying here? You take a lion and you take a tiger, okay? They've got their respective sizes, speeds, and strengths. You, you, you crossbreed them and you get this like way bigger, way faster, and stronger animal. What's even crazier though is the liger is considered to be one of the biggest cats in the world. I don't understand how that works. My brain just cannot process the genetics of that. But that's freaking cool. Not to mention it was in Napoleon Dynamite. Number two, the naked mole rat. Naked mole rats actually exist. My day, my mind, everything that I knew is a lie. So the mole rat lacks pain sensitivity in its skin. It also has a very low metabolic and respiratory rate, and that's all due to the way it is adapted to survive. So because of the tunnels that it burrows through, it has to rely on low amounts of oxygen and food just to be able to survive. Now one fun fact about these animals is they have a very high resistance of getting tumors and cancer. And you want to have an even extra bonus fact about these things? They can live up to 32 years long. That's longer than your cat, that's longer than your dog, that's longer than some people. So guys, coming in at our number one spot on the list of 10 animals you didn't know actually existed, we have an alien. A creature that has three hearts. A creature that is able to change its color and skin to blend in with the environment. A creature that when loses its arm can grow back. And you know what? This is actually a pretty common animal that you might actually know existed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the octopus. Okay, I know what you're thinking. 
Pat, the octopus, I've heard of this before, but trust me, you haven't truly heard what an octopus actually is. Society has this weird thing of making animals look way cuter and way more nicer than they actually are, like bears are a great example, but the octopus is the most insane animal on the planet. We've truly all been sleeping on the octopus. The octopus is an invertebrate. Now what that means is it doesn't have any bones, rendering it boneless. Insert boneless pizza meat here. But invertebrates are notorious for being super simple and non-complex organisms. For example, you have starfish, worms, and sea sponges. Not the octopus though. This thing is an invertebrate, has an incredibly developed nervous system, and is actually capable of learning things. Some experiments have shown that these things are capable of solving puzzles, distinguishing shapes, and even patterns. Not only that, but they're capable of developing a short and long-term memory. They have eight tentacles, three hearts. Did I mention the fact that they can change their color and texture of skin? The only reason we don't think of the octopus as being an alien is because we're used to it. If you found this thing on Mars, people would be freaking out. Anyways though guys, that is going to be the list for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Again guys, um, if you want to get in on that silver play button, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, comment down below what your favorite animal on this list is to. Octopuses, don't be sleeping on them. Anyways guys, I will see you later. Peace out, you freaking nuts.